President Joe Biden in Belvedere, Illinois today touting the new automakers agreement. The same agreement expected to close the Stellantis plant in Milwaukee. 12 News political director Matt Smith tonight on the implications and votes just coming in tonight. At Milwaukee's Stellantis Parts Distribution Center, remnants of a strike to save their jobs. I want it. I want to keep my family here. I want to keep generations here. Where workers now vote to ratify a contract that will close their plant, moving 100 jobs to Belvedere, Illinois. President Joe Biden. Where some 90 miles away this afternoon, President Joe Biden arrived in Belvedere to celebrate the new agreement between the United Auto Workers and Stellantis. These deals are game changers, not only for UAW workers, but for all workers in America. Biden, the first president to join the picket line a year out from re-election, the administration touting his support of unions, specifically looking to key battleground states like Wisconsin, where tonight the president's approval rating sits at 42 percent. To the Stellantis workers here in Milwaukee losing their jobs, what would the president say directly to them? Uh, well, again, the, the deal itself uh, is, is something that the, the UAW workers negotiated with uh, the companies. If you look broadly uh, at the state of Wisconsin and across the country, what you're seeing is thousands of workers uh, going back to work. And Matt is joining us live right now in the newsroom. Matt, local, local automakers in Milwaukee just wrapped up voting on the contract this afternoon. Kristen, tonight union officials tell 12 News that the local auto workers voted to ratify the new agreement with 53% in Milwaukee voting in favor. Despite that, meaning this Milwaukee plant will close. No details tonight yet on a specific timeline as voting on this contract continues nationwide.